Hey guys, welcome to Codemark Kids channel. Uh, you know, probably this part on creating a web search engine in Python would be the last one, and uh, let me just explain you why did I decide to do so. So, during the development process, uh, dur during development this uh, kind of example project, I came to some sort of understanding of what in particular do I really want to do actually and uh, if you if you ever watched the very first part of this video series you probably remember that instead of writing a crawler I eventually ended up writing a scraper so yeah this is quite a fun thing but it's true so nevertheless uh, I will try uh, basically to follow that concept and first I wanted to make uh, the crawler to be able, uh, I was trying uh, to make it possible to run the crawler from the web application, but uh, then I thought that that won't be probably the very best ever approach. So I'll try to keep uh, the application itself as minimalist as possible, so the very bare minimum stuff. And I also want to uh, make the code a bit more compact, so I will remove that blueprint and add the routes directly into the app.py file and also uh, I will, first I would probably uh, run the crawler uh, in the background so till the, uh, till the end of this video we would end up having kind of well I don't know how many how exactly how many there would be how, how many entries uh, is there gonna be in the database but still well at least more than three or six or whatever uh, how 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 much there at this moment i'm not i'm not sure how, how many of them so and after that uh, i will probably uh, start a new series with which would be called building a visual web scraper with python and flask and uh, i think that project would be much more interested for you know like you some sometimes you have to just start doing something just in order to understand that it's not exactly what you were dreaming about or dreaming of so but this uh, definitely helps you to understand your future path and just gather all the needed experience and forces just to make it possible to go through what you're really interested in. Okay, so without further ado, uh, I'll just start now. So, okay, what we got here? So, I'll just open this uh, app.py file here, and instead of uh, instead of imp importing these blueprints, I'll just first first I just command this out. And now it has to disappear. Okay, no route found. And now what I want to do is I just take, oh no, not like this. I just take this, all this code, and just copy. Oh, not maybe not the old code. Okay, I need the routes. Only two routes, okay. And instance and here I create the routes Maybe like this okay and just paste it and now instead of search blueprint I will use the app instance instead so I also need to import PyMongo and let's see actually request is not defined okay from flask with flask request in the template okay now it seems to work so quotes
maybe just quote. Oh, come on, what is, what is there in the database? I don't remember. Oh, probably there's just only one result left. So I kick, I kick them all away. So it's, it's probably empty at this moment. Okay, doesn't matter. Still seems like it works. Okay, and now I just need to remove all this unnecessary stuff. And also the crawler. I want to put it, or maybe not. Maybe just like this, just cut this from here and paste it in here and now in the app I'll kick this routes. So I'll leave just the static folder and I'll use this uh, app structure as the template for the future for the future app. Okay, so the template says okay and here well, okay, I have search, search results, okay, and here I need the navbar, and basically what I really want to get rid of is navbar itself, so, so, but do I really want to Mm, but I really want to use the navbar in my future projects. Well, that's interesting, but... Okay, navbar. Layout. Where is the navbar here? Where is this included? Okay, search. Body block. Layout. Okay, head. Huh. Well, to be honest, I have no idea. Well, okay, what if what happens if I just if I just delete the navbar? Okay, this is it. Include navbar HTML. So I'll just leave that file. Just get rid of this line here. Strap. Okay, so Okay, just hold on a sec, guys. Before before I will start doing that, I need I need to run the crawler. Okay. Also, open the crawler itself and 
opened another terminal. So, and what I also wanted to try to do here is that instead of uh, inserting the results after, like, yeah, after everything is scraped, I want to try to store the results on the fly. So insert many. I need to insert one. Okay, let's let's Google for by Mongo insert. Insert document. Okay, insert one method. My dig insert one. Okay, so we'll use insert one instead. So, you know, guys, yeah, I just really want to put. I just want to. I just want to end this project. For uh, now, I understand that the reason for why I was doing this is just to find out from within my own self what in particular am I supposed to to do basically what what I really desire to do so uh, I, I thought this would be some sort of web crawler and the search engine but well, it's not exactly I really want to create that sort of visual scraper and I believe that would be really cool for I got some ideas uh, that can be implemented using the dynamic template renderer and flask and that would be that I, I hope that will be cool okay but before that so I have this result so search results create index okay so I need I need this part and just Search results. So these results. Now I want to insert one and result here. And I just want to command this out. this create an index I hope that works not sure though okay probably I don't need this part so and as well as this part Let me just try run this. So, uh, let's create a crawler instance. I don't want crawler. Crawl. Mm. Here I need to specify the URL and the depth. Okay, so well maybe let's use the good old stack overflow. It won't really find something useful, but still there would be quite a lot of information stored in the database, so stack overflow. Let's try the depth zero at the at the moment. And just wondering whether that works. Okay. And let's 
see if we did save something into the database. Hey, wh what's my login here? Oh, the email to register again free. You know guys, the way I work either on my daily job projects or on my own projects is I'm trying to listen to the inner flow and as far as I can follow that flow What is this? Oh! <laughs> it's not that Okay, and I try basically follow the flow try to follow the flow every time I work okay stack overflow come okay this is great so he did okay and I and I'll just try to make it say go to okay hold my breath and try to go to that five <coughs> And as far as he's going, there, okay, I just try to see, well, f from, from the crawler perspective, this script is basically a piece of crap, it doesn't really uh, get the valuable information, but mostly gets the, all the, all the unneeded stuff but from the general you know like from the overall general perspective th this is still the crowler okay so let me just quickly check this out if he adds the results on the fly and it and it and it is so this means that if i would ever try to stop uh, to stop the uh, to stop the script well in that case the results will be stored so this is this is cool so I would probably also like to use some pagination or if I really should do this well, I don't know well maybe okay okay so just don't need this crawler at the moment and Let's add the Jamborgan class. Oh my goodness, what is this? Oh, he was trying to search for the back. Okay, now just. Not important. Did, did, I, did I just write this wrong? Okay.
Okay, so still so this is not needed. It's not really centralized, why? Center hand. sure this works. Okay, maybe just... Sometimes it's a good idea to wrap the coal class, coal bootstrap class into the raw row bootstrap class. Not sure how exactly this works. It's probably not exactly. Okay, 
just trying to use call here instead. This is generally a really bad practice, but mm. okay. But wait, a, hold a sec. Not really good at front end, so just following the trial and error method here. I want to put this image into the center. How can I do that? Okay. Great. <laughs> this is now great. And let's do it like this. So what about our script? 
Okay, so he did crush at some point, but really crowd some. He didn't really go to another link. Well, so somewhere this crawler did crush, but I don't care. Okay, so let's see search results. Is this all about the same? Oh my god, no. What a weird stuff. It's almost all about the same. I don't know why this happened. So, Crowler. This is not working. Oh my goodness, I don't want to continue this shit. Oh. Mm. Mm. Get away. Okay. Well, okay. You had to find Stack Overflow. Yeah, this is all all the same. Well, okay. Mm. Can I show just some?
Okay, now it's much better. Still a complete disaster within the database. Still don't have the pagination. Well, okay, I'll probably try to provide the pagination. Yeah, let me just quickly find this. Okay, Let's see whether it's still running. Seems like so. And
Okay. Well, I'm not sure whether it shows the right content, but probably it does. It's even something different here. Yeah, this is even different. Okay, well, here are some, well, basically some, yeah. Duplications, but still, it's not really that the same. So I probably even can just leave this as is. The only problem is why this. Why the link stands here? Still, still the disaster. Okay, so I'll leave this pagination here. And where is the number of per page? Number of per page. Items per page. Where is that defined? Links. Maybe this can be strong. This. Doesn't work. This is probably some sort of a standard standard value. Well, I don't care. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is okay. Ten per page. Well, this is okay. But this is wrong, so let me just keep that away. No mentions. Mm. Oh, it doesn't have to. It's not the then. Let's make it total. Okay, just I just don't want this. Just for testing purposes. I don't really want this for real. And probably here, make this pagination a bit lower. Okay, now it's better. Well, okay. Okay. Back 
Select search. Search to localhost. Okay. Try to Google for stack exchange. Does it find something? Wondering. Yeah, stack exchange. It does find something. So lots of duplications, as you can see here. But well, this doesn't really matter that much. For yeah, I just want to show you the idea. I basically not really want to show you much, but just instead I was doing this to come to my own understanding of what the web search engine is and to some some conclusions on what am I supposed to do next. Okay, let's try this stack. Yeah, works as well. Okay. Is Google appear? Did Google appear somewhere? Oh, yeah, it did. So it's probably somewhere in somewhere in the description. Not sure where exactly. But okay, and now I just want to put this uh, the link. Okay, so you know it looks great. Okay, and if I just go in there, okay, go to the privacy policy here, just go back. Well, great. This is great. So is, I wonder is Facebook available here somewhere? Yeah, even Facebook. <laughs> okay. Okay, is, is, is Wikipedia available somewhere in this database? Okay, Wiki. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, so I hope you got the idea. You know, like, uh, yeah. So uh, I would, I would, add, uh, I would add uh, some description to the repository of, on this project. But but as you can see here, that so. Okay, let, let's make let's make some sort of a summary, and I'm and I'm really sorry for I'm changing the purposes on the fly because you know like when I started doing this I had no idea of what exactly uh, did I supposed to actually get uh, as the end result, so I, I had no idea, and uh, finally I came up with, with the conclusion that basically I would like I would probably like to write some sort of the visual scrapper for that's kind of more related to the field of interest uh, to the field of my interest uh, as well as more related to my professional kind of specification even though I'm, I'm doing some flask applications for sure on my daily jobs but yeah, th that's that's basically my main my main main stuff. But uh, at, at this point, I'm trying to focus more on backend uh, development, like uh, providing the APIs and things like that. So not uh, uh, I'm probably going to give up the full stack web development. Well, maybe not. Maybe I, I have no idea to be honest. But what I wanted to show you here is. Uh, basically the two major parts of the two major parts of the web search engine so we have we have things like the crawler uh, that's the script that actually populates the database somewhere and also the application like like Google search that retrieves the particular uh, retrieves the particular 
items from that database and we also did did add some some pagination so if there are lots of results in, in this case like more than more than 10 results then we have this multiple pages over here well I think this is quite cool and regarding the very poor quality of the crawler itself well you know like uh, to be honest I have no idea how to how to create uh, a really cool crawler no, no idea uh, well probably I should have learned about this that myself but that's not exactly what I what I desire to to achieve basically so no, I'm not really going to create real world uh, web search engines well at least at least I think so so I just wanted to show you this uh, as an example and you can use this basically as the starting point for your own projects if you're interested and what I'm really intrigued with uh, is to create this visual scrapper visual scrapping service but before that uh, I will probably make another video on creating a uh, Heroku Flask app template that would consist uh, of this single git repository containing the template the Python Flask app uh, deployable at Heroku so that's it so now I'll just prettify the current repository a bit upload this video and we'll actually continue working on the next things okay guys uh, I hope this was fun and <laughs> quite a tricky thing that we we ended up with something working at the very end so I don't know about you guys but I really taken some useful things from this experience well and now I really can see the past so so I'll repeat this uh, a hundred times <laughs> I, I didn't repeat this a hundred times already but just wanted repeat this one more time you you never know uh, why are you doing the particular stuff you're doing now in many cases this might be just one of the steps on the way to something bigger and doing the steps at some points can, can really help you to understand yourself can really help you to basically I don't know like to do some sort of self-research and this would eventually lead you ending up with a, something some really interesting project maybe in the future okay it's enough it's time to stop talking shit so until the next time until the next video guys and take care